which was uh, expired last uh, last seventh May. Now it is lying uh, vacant, and unfortunately, they have violated the rule. It was informed that the seven March it was already expired, but they have illegally nominated the village committee chairman and vice chairman and member, which was illegal. Therefore, that also we are looking very seriously. I condemn all the uh, incident. Now I, uh, I was told that all the village uh, ponchet was occupied by them, so-called appointed chairman and vice chairman. They went forcefully. They entering the uh, ponchet office and they threatened to the people and they blocking the development activities, rega work. And they threatened to the village secretary, block chairman, uh, block uh, BSC chairman, and also uh, BDU and all other, other official, government official, were threatened by the Jibra uh, Masa volunteers. It's very unfortunate. And also, I was informed in my forest department, we have 450 JFMC committee, Joint Forest Management Committee which was constituted, which was formed earlier. Even there, the Dibramotha volunteer entered in the office, in the forest office, and prevent the development activities. It's very shameful. The forest department is running. It is our state government proper uh, department. Dibramotha or any volunteer have no right to enter in the forest office you were reported from different part of the state. Since I was the forest minister, I was informed by the forester, Ananjar, and DFU. Many Tipramata volunteers, they went in the uh, forest office and tried to stop our development activities. Now, <clears throat> we have two projects, hindu German project and Jaika projects is going on. Activities going on. But unfortunately, Dibramotha volunteers illegally entered the office and they threatened, they, they used slang language to my officers, forest officers, and they tried to prevent, they tried to stop the development activities. It's very shameful. I want to request the Dibramotha chairman or Bhubagra Pradhikishu Deborma to look into this matter. It's a very shameful matter. Nowhere in the country, nowhere in the state is happening this kind of activities. Therefore, I strongly condemn this kind of activities which are committed by the Tipramotha volunteers. Therefore, our party IPFT is observing the situation. We are calling down to dust burn on 22nd May. I will inform all the division level volunteers our youth, our artists, all the leaders and volunteers of our party to maintain peace and democratically we are doing the 24 hour bonds. Especially will be affected, uh, will be in the Edis area. Therefore, as you know, IPFT always organize peacefully, democratically. We never disturb anybody. Therefore, even today, I have informed my Chief Minister Biplop Kumar Dev, I just have a meeting with him. I also inform him <coughs> that all the anti-social element is, is prevailing in, in, in the ADC area, especially after the ADC election, that all the criminals, all this element should be stopped. And we have given a lot of FIR filed against uh, who are involved in these activities who have uh, damaged the, our property, stolen, robbed our property. All these people, who, uh, whoever he may belong, he may belong to any political party members, he may belong to the IPFT, he may belong to the Pramatha or BG, whatever. Culprit is culprit. Those have uh, books and FIR have, have launched against them, against their name, should be arrested. And CM, Chief Minister have assured me that within uh, 10 days, he'll look this matter 
If not, then IPFT will think otherwise. Because IPFT, you know, we have a still strong hold in our LDC area. We have thousand and hundred youth are still waiting. Therefore, I am requesting the people of Tipura, both tribal and non-tribal, to maintain peace. And I am assuring you, coming born 22nd May, we will maintain peace. And I will inform all the volunteers not to disturb anybody, not to break the law, not to take the law in their own hand. Therefore, I request all the people of Tipura to cooperate with us. So that I think the peace and law and order